right, folks, I'm going to tackle a little tree with a bit of a landscape and some sky in it. Um, okay, I'm just, just going to begin. No messy, no fussy. Right. Um, okay. I'm going to start with just putting a, a, a bit of the sky in and getting it all kind of... Uh, I'll be putting in the darks and the lights here initially. Okay, so I'm going to begin with a, a bit of a lighter color up in here. Let me see, and again, I put the masking tape on. Hopefully, it, it doesn't seem to be warping it too much. But let's see how long that will continue. Now, all I'm after here is just a general color, bit of yellow. Bit of red, bit of oxide red, and some liquid. Now, let me see. I think I need that to be a bit more of a red. Okay, and then plenty of liquid on this here. Just up in the here. Now, and this is only the background color. It should be a bit brighter than that, though. Only the background color. I'm going to be going in and around the existing drawing here. And as I move further on over to the edge here, it becomes a bit more gray. Again, I'm using a, a, an amalgamation of um, reference photos here. Okay, so I'm just going to gray this one out a little bit. And I'll use a little bit of umber, the tiniest bit of black, and I want some cool in it. Just the oops, the tiniest bit of, just to help grey it a touch. Let me see. No, that's not it. So. A bit of red on it. And let's see if we can get this to grey out a little bit. A little bit of cerulean, graying it out just a touch. A little bit more red, just to help warm it a touch. And that's really lighting this up. Yeah, that's a bit better. A bit more blue, just in here. <laughs> As I always say, everything is subject to change, folks. Everything is subject to change. Or you would never do it. You'd never get anything done. If it all had to be the if you only had one go at it, isn't that right? Okay. Bit of a darker color in there, so I'm just going to mess around here a little bit, putting in some tonal colors. Warmish and around the edges of the trees here. Let me see now, just, let's just continue to, to carry on here, to mess about. Yes. This will be dry whenever I come back to it. Of that there is no doubt. in a bit of a, a blueness of the sky. So some ultramarine, now it may be a bit too red so because ultramarine has a, a bit of warmth to it. So 
So I'm just going to use the the uh, greenish down here to knock that red out of it a little bit and maybe I've knocked too much of it out let me see is that what's that like hmm a bit brighter bit of cerulean in yeah. it I'll fix it whenever if I, if I feel like I, I want to fix it now obviously there's a lot more life to be put in here there's trees background trees here there's bushes here and twigs and branches coming off the tree and a lot more color involved um, but I'm, I'm still not done here yet I still have a bit of work to do here Creating a bit of a, a bit of a darker patch along here, and I also, I also, and I don't want to forget. I also want to put that branch in properly. It'll be um, sitting on the ground. So it will, so it will. Now, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black. To darken that down a touch. Okay, now let me see. No, this here, I've done a bit of a boo-boo, I'm just going to fix it, and this here is just not bright enough for what I want. So let's just roll this on here, there we go, it's a bit better. Just leaving patches in a, in and around it, folks. And another one, a little bit greener though, just here. It's a wee tuft of grass I'm going to have sitting up in that. Right, I'll tell you what, I, I need to knock this back. Okay, so let's see where we are. Um, Okay. Still a bit too dark. Nice and soft. And then you can come over it with all the detail in the world so you can. Okay, I'm just having a wee look at this area here. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of this off here. That's okay. Just having a generalized look at it for the time being. And I, I will, I'm going to take a walk back here. I need to be a wee bit further away from it. I see this this level here I think that it's it's off too much but I'm not sure so let me see uh, yes it's off too much yeah okay right then so let's fix it I right, what where is it leaning where is this lean? I think it's coming down too much, so I'm going to take it up to about to here. Just 
I'll stop a bit and then I just level that off as I move across. Just let it fall into there. I could even create an order to sell the idea of a of a tilt. Here, here's here's a thing for you. If it, if it is a bit tilted and you want to sell the idea that it is a bit tilted, you can always. I'm not going to do this for the finish thing, but you can always come in and add a, another plane to it. You know, like so. But let me see. Um, I need to. Bring this up a touch more here. And I think I think that's all but done here. So I'll do it. Let me just, just get in here kind of ready to go. Right. Some greens in the thing, some darks along here. And um, they got a wee, a wee thing heading up towards the tree. I, I think that that will do as a background, folks. I do believe it will. Right, okay, folks. Um, I'm just having a wee look at that level again. That's fine. That's a bit better. Right, okay. All right, then, folks. I'll see us all again soon enough. Okay, and the same again, just pushing it in. Ooh, probably need a coarser brush than this still, actually, I think I'm going to get one. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Heat it up, I did it down. Let's just scrape it, scrape it in. I'm going to redefine this um, uh, this trunk down here. It's just a bit of tree that has uh, fallen off the, the tree here. Or at least that's what I'm assuming has happened to it. Let's go with that. Going to mess around with the uh, the edges of this. Bits out of time, folks. Little bits out of time. One day. Anyway. That's enough of that.
Uh, I want to bring this up a little bit here too, just a nice darker patch here. See, this is all a game of sculpting. You put it down and then you reshape it. If you can see it that way, it actually can make a lot of sense. That if you begin to see it, that just because you put the paint down, you don't have to necessarily be done with it at that point. And that can be a, a form of sculpt sculpting, moving the paint around until you get to where you want it to be in your own in your own mind. See? And then you just mess around. Now we've got ourselves a a bit of a grass verge. It all needs to be lightened, it all needs to be um, detailed in order for it to look the way that I want it to look. But we have ourselves a trunk that's coming off and then some grass is going up and, and around it. Let me just, actually, you know what, may as well just use this. You can see. There we go, just a little bit. Now, I re-establish this so that I can paint over it and then pick the parts that I want to re-establish when I'm done. So, let me just continue to do that. <coughs> I think that I'm almost done for today. I can feel myself getting a little, a little bit tired here. Feeling my mind wandering. Yeah, I can <laughs> just feel myself beginning to go, oh, okay, time to move on. Time to go and have a cup of tea, get something to eat or something. And this is the time, actually, to, to be honest, it's, it, this is the most dangerous part of uh, time of painting. Because you get, if you continue, you can really make some, some mistakes. Say, oh, and then you have to come back and fix it all. Okay. <coughs> so yes, I'm, I'm going to take my own advice and go for a break. I'll see you all again, I suppose, as I often say. For me, it could be a week or two. For you, a mere moment. I'll see you all soon enough. All right, we're getting there. Tiny bits at a time. I want to lighten this area down here. I'm going to work a little bit on this. So I is, I got the wrong color on this brush, but I'm going to work, work it through it. Let me see here, just, yeah. Don't want to cover up what I've done here, so I'm just going to play here. Bum ba da bum, ba da bum bum. For now, look at that. There, now you've got yourselves a, a little grass verge there, and I can mess around with here. Like I say, I want to lighten this, this area a little bit here. I think it's just too, I'll 
No, hold on, I'm just thinking to myself. Yeah, I'll light. I think it's just a bit too. It's a bit too. Uh, just a bit too dark, I think. Let's see. And I need to get myself out some yellow. I'm just playing at the moment, folks. <clears throat> I'll get myself out some yellow and I'll see. Where I am with this. Now what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to cover up the little darker patches that I put in before. As I say, this has been quite a while for me, I must say. There's been quite a few months on this one. I haven't just haven't been at it at all. Now let me see where we are with brightness. I think that that is just about right. So we'll do. So. Not covering, purposefully not covering up the, the darker areas. Okay, that's, that's nice, that's coming along. Just break that brush up a little bit more by squeezing it on the palette. There we go, and I think I'm just going to gently soften that and give me a little bit of a a bit of a bed to work on later. Right. On this little pathway here, and just while I have the, the colors down. Mm -hmm. When the moon shines bright upon my little tale, tale of story, all for love and all its glory, and a few darker edges around the, the path of it here. Just around here, just to give it some edge to it. I think that may be a bit too dark, but it's okay. Just work it in. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, I might as well work on this area here. Let's see where we are with this. And I've already, as you can see well, as I'm doing this, um, I'm using the, all the colors on the palette to try and get some sort of harmonious thing going on here. Well, hope, hopefully you can see me doing that. No.
Yeah, okay. Happy enough. Coming along rightly. Now let's just direct this a little bit with the fan brush. Just direct its shape. Just a little bit. There we go. Now you have some sort of little pit falling down. And this is obviously, this is going to be a branch. Right, so let me just, um, I think that, that might do me for a minute. I think I need to go and sit down. Uh, let me see. Pump it boop, 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 boop. Oh, highlight a few while I have it here, just. I will make sure that this isn't too. And that it's not too, um. Uh, Obvious or what? 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 I'm just talking to myself, folks. Right now, there is still a firm amount to do in this. Um, well, before any of this dries, I might as well just create some holes here. Just let that peek through there, folks. And I will soften these up and and whatnot. Say I'm not too happy with this area here just yet. Um, and at the minute, I need to have a wee think about what to do with it. But all of this here is getting covered up with twigs and branches and, and whatnot, and I need to highlight and fix the tree up a, a bit. Um, I wonder, no, I think, I think I'll go and sit down, but just having a wee moment here. Just seeing what that looks like. No, no, right, I'm going to go and sit down. See you soon. Bye for now. Just at the edge here. See, I'm not too happy with that. I'm not too happy with that. But I'm not, um, you know what? Now that, that has somewhat fixed it up. So let's add in some actual grasses to it. can't cover this up. I'm going to make my job much harder. So what I'm going to do is uh, fill your head full of nonsense folks and start working on the uh, this branch here. I said I was going to do it last. Well, I changed my mind. See, that's the thing. You have to be adaptable folks. You have, if you have a plan in your, in your mind and how to execute this in some way, I have to be careful of the language I'm using because you get knocked down for the, the most frivolous reasons on YouTube these days. Anyway, 
Um, uh, what was I saying? You have to be able to, if you if you got a plan, you've got to be able to make sure that you're not doggedly sticking to it. Because every painting throws up its own challenges. And then the next thing you know, your plan is not going exactly where you want it to go. Likes of now. This isn't exactly the way I wanted this to turn out, but it is here as it is. Just a bit of a branch, is all. I think I could do with that being just a touch thicker, just along the base here. Okay, and obviously, as all branches do, they taper to the end, so it's not going to be so thick over here, but still, I want it thicker than what I have it. All right, now I'll. I'll It'll be hidden to some degree in behind um, the grasses that'll be coming up over it. Some degree, not. I still. I want it to be very obvious. So there is that. I'll be keeping it obvious. La da da dee, da 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 dee, da da dee. And left the road behind us. Oh, 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 just rounding this off a bit, give it a bit of more of a, a cylindrical shape. Okay, let's bury it now in the uh, in the grasses. Let it, the base of this almost disappear here. Just almost disappear. You see? Uh, it, it settles it into the painting. And the same over here. Just, I don't want too much, but I do want some just coming up and growing up over it. And because the, the uh, The branch that is still wet, you know, you'll be able to drag some of the colour up in with it. That's a nice look to it. There we go. And it kind of settles it into the, the paint. A little bit brighter. Nice and not too much on the brush, but nice and small effects of it here. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Well, I don't want to be too detailed either. Why don't? Oh, somebody at the door. Light in these trees. Just a little bit more. I'm not sure. I think this is a pretty similar color. So, let's see here. going to reshape this one over here and to do that I'm going to use a little thing I need to get this color I would say pretty spot on so let's see how good I use it that and a little bit of red on it Not too much Okay, I think I have the the color down now. I need to get the tone right. And I think that's a bit blue, tiny bit of red in it. Use this here actually. Okay. And now all I'm doing is trying to match the tone here. Now, I'm gonna test this and I think it's a bit too dark, but oh it's way too dark, not just a bit. So but I think the color is there. Well, let me see now. Look at that, that's all but perfect. Just breaking into this, just reshaping this a little bit. Just wasn't too happy with it with the shapes of it all. Now let's soften it a touch. Let's soften the edges a bit. It's way off in the distance there. And the same a little bit up here as well. Just a gentle a gentle reshaping just. going into the entire thing just right, let me see and again a uh, gentle softening <coughs> softening the edges and it will help soften the edge of the the tree as well okay there's a slight change in shape now, let me just see the, the color up here, if I can kind of slightly match it, that's too dark, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to re-emphasize, that's ah, far too dark, far, 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 far too dark, let me just see here. Right, I'm just having a moment to myself. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, right. I think it's done, but I'm unsure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape off. And I'm gonna say that it's done for now. If it, uh, I'll, I'll let it sit with me for a week or two and then I'll come back. I think it's done, but I'm slightly unsure. So let's see here what we'll have. Okay. And the removal of the tip. <laughs> this is 
I never used to do this, never used to tape them, but I have to say it's become one of my favourite parts about doing this now. So it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, now there we go. Reveals a finished painting. Hopefully, it's finished. Oops. And there we go. Just needs tightened up a little bit along the base here. Just to... mm -hmm. and up here. And there we go. Right, folks. I think that's finished. As I say, I'm, I'm slightly unsure, but I think we're. I think that, that's nice. Nice landscape with an old beaten tree in it. Well, folks, if you could, please like and subscribe and uh, watch a few of the videos till their end if you can. I know they're long, but they're helpful as well. Um, there are little bits of things in it as I go along. You get to learn a process of how it's applied. Or if you're going out shopping, just leave it sitting on the background. It, it all helps with the algorithm and then I can end up doing more paintings. So it, it helps in that sense. Anyway. As I say, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.